we just come back from doing a few quotes for the missus and the post office and stuff like that. And there was a couple of parcels at the gate. And I reckon I know what that is. So I'm going to take that one round for Dave. Bloody dogs keep escaping. What's that? A bucket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was busting as well, I could hear that. <laughs> well, there's actually two. Two buckets? Yeah, there's another one, so I, but I only broke one, so you're only having one of them. <laughs> yeah, but mine was indestructible. Well, apart from the fact that it wasn't, obviously. I can't believe you're stealing my buckets. <laughs> I'm not replacing it. Well, no, I'm not replacing it. Someone else has replaced your bucket. No, someone replaced my buckets. Yeah. Kind of Have you got it, sir? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. You've got the cross thingy what's it's going on there now, then? What? What do you call it? What? Them. That's your ceiling, that's good. Is that, yeah. <laughs> ceiling joist, yeah. I knew what I meant. Colors. Colors? So I suppose it's kind of time to put the kettle on then? Yes. Yeah. Half an hour ago. Cup of tea o'clock. Cup of tea o'clock? Yeah. Mm. How about cake? Oh yeah, it's all the cake o'clock. Yeah. We've well, still, got, still got some of that coffee, coffee cake, cake, yeah. It means some. But there's a bit left. Yeah. There's a bit a lot. No, I gave some to our dad. Um, I've had a couple of chunks out of it. Well, you made it for me. I'm just sure. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Hey? He made it for you. No, actually, his, his lovely wife made it for me. Yes. Yes. Jolly good cake Yes, right. Well, we'll have the uh, unwrapping of your bucket later on. <laughs> yeah, but they're going to get, they're going to get all, you know, hang on, I sent two. Yeah. That's one for you and two for me. Oh, so they sent three. I don't know, there's, there was two bags, I just picked the bags up, so. What, two different people or? I have no idea. I guess we'll find out when we open the bags. If there's a if there's anything in there. Poor old Andy. You've done it already, I think. I'm doing it now. Right, Mr. P. That's what doing. I'm just about to put the kettle on. Do you want one? Yes. Yeah, he's got a. Um, is it? Yeah, there's a big hole in there now, isn't it? So. Is there a pigeon in it? Oh, what? There's two of them in there. There's oh, a couple more days in there. Alright, yeah, I'll we'll leave them until the pigeons are fledged then. Okay. Yeah, I'll have the top out of that Raywood ash. I thought that, in my way down there, I suppose it drove to it. Yeah. Well, he's only going to break out, isn't it? Yeah. Because that's the nature of the beast. All right, we'll just put the kettle on, so I'll, I'll give you a shake in a minute. Yeah, I'll just up there. Enough. All right, okay, let's see in a minute. Actually, there's two in that one. I picked up the right bag, didn't I? You're not going to lose that in a hurry. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I think that'll be harder to run over that. Who's that from? Crusher pulling. 
<laughs> Ian Crusher pulling. <laughs> okay. Heavy duty, three gallon bucket, large, strong plus. Did it say it was from? Cra. Uh, I can't see a name. It's from Nutfield Hardware. <laughs> That's funny, crusher pulling. I like that. Right, okay. Well, we'll go to open David a minute and see what colour is in the bag he's got. Invincible bucket. We've got an extra guest in the building today. Because Martin's working with us, or at home. He gets one too. There you go, you can have the bit with the walnut in, mate. Okay, can I that in? That's where it's from, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's what it is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you can break that one. Yeah. Thank you. Don't let you in anywhere near it. <laughs> Are you gonna, I thought you were going to hide it in there for a minute, so... I'm going to put it up on the tree somewhere. All right. Put it out of your way. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. I'll tell you what, if you have the black one, and one of the yellow ones as well, I'll have one of the yellow ones. All right. Hey? I've got to have some of the piss in, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll do that, yeah, yeah. Right, so everybody fed and watered. I've got me thing. And dig some rolls. And you. I need you. Shall we? Right, okay, this. Quarter to two, I need a drink. Um, but, we are getting there. We've only got about another, I don't know, 50, 50, 60 meters to go. Um, the ground is parched dry, this is coming out all crumbly and well not in lumps like it usually does got me rotting eye in that was a bit of a struggle because that pipe seems to be like a millimeter too big for that fitting but i got it in there um i need to kind of fill this bit back in asap really because that's where the public footpath runs up through here so quick drink back in get some stone on get another bit of pipe in stone under here and then I can at least fill this bit back over and the footpath is, is open. They haven't got to go round stuff. Because walkers like to walk wherever they want, no matter about the footpath. Until you close the footpath or block the footpath. And then they only want to walk on the footpath. Do you know what I mean? I know, you, I know most of you do. All right. check make sure everything's running the right way that's looking okay to me Water pipe, perforated pipe, get down as far as there, footpath. Yeah, I know, I haven't had a drink yet. I thought I'd do this first. You 
have gone out of shape a bit. Right. Still got to go in there. Sorry, mate. It's going to happen. I'll bought you some more bolts oh, and some nuts. Okay. And I think my missus just bought you. Oh, you got ice cream? Yeah, you got everything. Yeah. We're going to go take the gates and nuts. You got your ice cream, Ryan? No worries. Good out. I'll get the gate, don't worry. I didn't get one. No way. Because you got it. You went down that thing. You have. What? Don't dug a hole. Got very hot. It's just gone half past seven. <coughs> And I've just about had enough. We haven't got far to go now, actually. Oh, bum. The bum's gone to sleep. So only about another, I don't know, 15, 18 metres to go. Uh, the trench isn't quite so deep down here. Um, and that's deliberate because the ditch in there isn't that deep it's only about two foot deep so a bit pointless me having the pipe lower than the ditch so i've been gradually bringing this up um, should still have a fall going downhill uh, should still be roughly the same degree of fall um, so i mean a lot of that is hoping because i've done all of this by eye and guesswork so and for those of you that said it was not very straight is it well it's all done by eye and guess what there's no laser levels or um anything clever like that it's just the bit of gray stuff i've got between the ears so i've managed to do that so at the end of the day if i can get the water from up there down there through there and doesn't block up i'll be happy right okay like i say i've had enough it's gone up past seven um i think it's time for me to call it a day i could go on i could get it finished and half of me wants to go on and do that last little bit but the other half doesn't i've already had one cold shower today because it gets hot in there and when i got to roughly where the skid steers today where we did the um rodding eye i was just pouring in sweat so i gave up for a couple of hours in the hottest part of the day right Shut this thing, lock it up. I'm gonna have me supper. I'll tell you what. Oh! I'll tell you what. What? Oh, did you fall down? Did you fall down? Hurt yourself. Oh. Never mind. Go on. Come on. And yeah, as I was going to say, this ground is really hard. Um, so, and I think maybe one of the reasons I got a little bit of a wriggle on the lines is when I'm pulling this stuff around and I'm actually 
pushing quite a lot of stuff in the side. I think the boom, I keep having to just correct the boom a little bit. So, it's my land. You get off my land. Holly. Right, anyway, I'm going to put the skids away and I'll see you all tomorrow where I'll probably be doing some more of this because it's going to rain Thursday, I hope, and I want this done by then.